Okay, here I am logged in as my daughter. You can see right up there, Nadia Marshanda. I'm going to head on over to uh, this assignment here, the test math assignment, and I am going to take the PDF by clicking on it. And uh, right now it downloaded to my desktop. And what I'm going to do is open this in another app. So I'm going to go down to my apps and uh, you, you, kids will notice that there's multiple pages but you're gonna look for Doc Hub and when I click on it it opens up another tab and the Doc Hub account and the first time I have to select Google and give it permission to automatically log me in I'm gonna get rid of this little guy there there we go and now what I need to do is import a document so I'm gonna click on import a document and keep all the settings just as they are but down here, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to choose to upload it from my computer because that's where it just downloaded it, right here. So I'm going to choose my computer. I'm going to go to Downloads. And I'm going to choose this one right here. This is what I just downloaded. You can see that the titles match there. So I'm going to click on Open. And now um, I'm going to hit Create Document. Once I'm in here, you can see that this is the math sheet, and I can I can do a few things, but I think um, the easiest way to do it is to use the Insert Text button. So I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to click where I want my answer, and I'm going to write in 40. If I click off of it, you can see that um, I can add another text box wherever I want it. If I select the blue area, I can um, actually slide it over a little bit. And there's a little X here if I do want to get rid of the answer. So that's how students can quickly annotate uh, a document. I hope I'm getting these right, 45. And they can even write their name on it and all that. When they're all done, they need this blue button up here. And click on it, and we're going to download a PDF lossless. And that's going to take another copy of this right here and uh, save it to my desktop. So I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to tell it to save it to the downloads and then click save. And you can see it, it uh, downloaded the new one with the annotations to my drive. So how do I go turn it in? Well, I'm going to go back to Schoology and uh, you can see I've been doing this before but this will just say submit assignment and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to choose file right here. I'm going to upload that file so I'm going to click that and you can see that uh, this the newest one is on top so I'm going to select that one you can even tell by the timestamp which one is newer so this one is clearly the one with the annotations on it so I'm going to just now hit open and it uploads it and as a student to turn it in I'm going to make sure that I hit submit and I am all done you can see that it has been submitted